What up peeps and peepettes, Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2, and today I'm showing you all where all of the stuff is and how to get the Ace of Spades. Now, when you complete the campaign, you get the Ace of Spades, but it's broken. You bring it to Banshee, he tells you to go do stuff. The first stuff you gotta do is you gotta go get five kills with hand cannons in Gambit. But the thing is, they gotta be on enemy players, and they have to be on invaders. You cannot go invade to get those kills. You have to kill invaders with hand cannons. So it can take a little bit. It can take a little bit, because most of the time you just want to kill them just to get them out of the way and done with and move on with your gambit. But once you get that done, you gotta get 250 headshots. I'm sorry, just 250 hand cannon kills in the strike playlist. And once you complete that, you need to get 25 precision kills in the Crucible. And then after that, you need to collect four... Four... Cade 6 caches throughout the solar system. And I'm going to show you where those are right now. Okay, so for the first one, we find ourselves on Io. And it's up in Terror Base Sharon. You can see that green dot. That's where it's at. So we're going to hop on our sparrows. And we're going to head there right now. Well, I started off in the Lost Oasis, and we're just going to head through the Lost Oasis to Terror Base, or Terra Base Sharon. Just following the path in the zone. Going through the transitional area into Ter Terra Base Sharon. And then, when you get to Terra Base, you're going to want to keep to the right as that's where the entrance to the base is actually at when you come into the area from this direction. We're going to keep to the right, pass some missiles, pass some taken, and we're just going to jump and just run straight into the base over that box down a lighted hallway past uh, underground cave section of this, where the uh, tunnels are starting to cave in. And the box is right up there, where Spirit is, but I'm going to show you how to get there. The, the easy way, anyway. You, sh you might be able to jump up there by means of trickery, but I will show you a way. You just run there. There's running past all the taken. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, linear pathway here. And then when we get into this room where there's a bunch of machinery and a blue glowy floor, you're gonna want to jump through, hug, kind of hug the right wall. There's a circular hole in the wall door, if you will. And then you're gonna run out into the first room you were in. Do not jump down. Instead, jump onto the scaffolding on your left. And over there is the first chest, where you will get a note from Cade. Okay, for the second one, we find ourselves on Nessus, and it's in a deep cave under the Exodus Black area. That's where you're going to want to start. But we're going to hop on our sparrows, and we're going to hug the right side wall just for a little while until you get to a cave. Hole in the ground type deal. It's nice and purple. Enter the cave. You can stay in your sparrow or you can jump off of it. You're going to bounce off the walls in your sparrow and it's going to slow you down anyway. But it's really, really dark in here in some places. It's hard to see your way, but you do not uh, need to worry. It's pretty linear. Just do not take that Vex gate that's on your left about now. I'm just going to continue down the very linear pathway past some orange glowy rocks. And we're getting closer, running through some water. And then when you get into the sunken cavern, it's a big open area. And this one is actually pretty well hidden. You really can't see the glow from this chest all that well. That's right here. Along the outside wall by some orange glowy light. 
For the third, we find ourselves on the Tangled Shore. We started off at Thieves Landing. Now this one is almost off the map, way down south, in an area that I didn't even know existed. So, it, it, it took a while to find this one. It's like, where, where else could it be? These little caves, like... This cave just kept on going, but we're taking a life. We're going down into the Jetsam of Saturn. And then you want to hug the left-hand side. It's going to go up a slight hill. And then just keep hugging the left. It's going to take a left turn, I figure. And then it's going to fall, flow into a cave. And the cave is very linear. Just keep going. I know it goes on forever. And when you think it's done, it's not. Um, so I was expecting some other sort of secret there. There might be. I might have missed it, but... It's not here. We're in Hellrise Canyon. I'm sure some other quest will take us to this location at some point another time. But we're just going to jump past it. There is another cave within a cave in the back of this cave. And it's full of hive gross. And actually some fallen. We're just going to run past all the hive for now. Save killing them for later. Again, very linear. It's hard to explain where I'm going because it's it's just a linear pathway. It's just a tube. But we're going to jump over the fallen skiff as we come out of the cave. And you'll be able to see the glint of the chest along the wall. There you are. Another note from Cade. Last but certainly not least, we find ourselves in the EDZ. You start at the Sunken Isles. And this one is... At Legion's Anchor, kind of near Firebase Hades. Now, you could take Winding Cove into there as well, but I find this to be just a little bit quicker. Uh, we're going to hop on our sparrows, and we're going to go towards the big cabal ship in the sky, except we're going to go right past it and go into their base. Just about done. Just about have the weapon. All right, we're jumping off our sparrows, going into the fire base now. Very linear pathway again. A lot of these are very linear pathways. All right, now we're in Legion's Anchor. And we're going to stick to the ground floor because that's how you get into the next area where the chest is at. Go through the door. On the bottom, leading towards the outside, but take a sharp left. And behind a tank and some shelving, you will find the last stash you need. Okay, now after you complete that, you'll notice you're still not done, and you have to go do a mission on Titan that you can only do by yourself. Now, these chests aren't super hard to find, um, so if you want to just click off the video right now, that's that. Uh, the mission is pretty cool, actually. Cade has, like, a note for anybody that might have been the person that took him down or the way that he met his demise. And at the end, he has a special message, message for you. So if you want to kind of explore that area and mission yourself and don't want to be guided through it, I completely understand. Thank you for watching. If not... Continue on watching, and I will show you where all of those are. Okay, so you completed that quest. Now you have another quest to do this mission, which is solo. And there's more Cade 6 chests to find here. The first one is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It's right out in the open. Right there. If you're listening to this, congrats on killing me. I assume you... Became a hive death god and fed me to your worm cult. That, or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And, well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. We're getting warmer. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize. And I will consider all my actions 100% justified. Either way, feel free to put your rock on my maps now. 
I don't need him anymore. Second one is pretty easy. As soon as you collect the first one, listen to Cade talk if you want to. Just follow again. Linear pathway. You'll see the second one right there. Okay, now after this one, the third one, you're going to have to fight quite a few hive in this next room. But again, it's just following the path. The only tricky part is where exactly these next ones are. Um, you know, they're, they're off the beaten path, but it's still a linear pathway. And there are always more hive to fight along the way. Alright, so as soon as you get through the big room where you just got done fighting the ogre, there's going to be a shrieker that attacks you from up here. And that's kind of signifying where the next cage chest is, as it's right there on some whatever this hive goo that it solidified is. Alright, in the next chest you can kind of see from where I am right now. It's up there on top of a little spire of goo. There's going to be some more hive to fight along your way, but you can do it. I believe in you. Cade believes in you. But once you've killed all of them, you can just jump up on top of these little spires of whatever sort of goo this is. And the next two are actually very close to each other. So here's one. And then the other one is right across over there. Okay, and the next one is right over there, as you can see. And there's some hive I haven't fought yet. We're just going to ignore them for now. We're going to grab this chest. Okay, now after you're done killing all those hive, continue on this pathway. You can see there's a chest right up there. You can grab that chest. That is number seven. Okay. So we jump down from that last one. The next one is very, very close. There's going to be a couple more hive to kill. But it's right up here. And sorry for no descriptions, but it's, it's very hard to describe where I'm going here. Okay, now after that last one, you're going to follow the linear pathway until you get to the room that has two tanks in it. Don't worry, there are still two more stashes to go. I'm going to show you where those stashes are right now. The first one is right here. Hi, Ikora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? And the second Ikora, is up top. I always got to have the last word, and I'm going to be prepared for every possibility. But, but to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest. I right there. I never tell if you really like me that much. But, uh, well, if you did hate me. Well, that's, just, that's it, folks. After you complete that portion of the mission, or the exotic quest line, you go back to Banshee 44, and you get yourself the Ace of Spades. Plan on doing a review on the hand cannon later on, as right now it is 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> and I want to go to bed. So, if this video helped you out, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my Forsaken content, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time.